Welcome to Proteopedia, the collaborative three-dimensional encyclopedia of proteins and other molecules. Proteopedia was designed and inspired by the belief that structural information needs to be presented in an intuitive manner in order to reach its potential for value. That's why you'll find rotatable and zoomable structures on most every page in Proteopedia. Often, there will also be green links below the three-dimensional structure that highlight functional sites or ligands. Now these green links are the essence of Proteopedia because they display structural information in an intuitive manner. For example, here's an excerpt from one of our pages, 1EVE, titled for the PDB entry with the same name. As we read, the anti-Alzheimer's drug E2020, marketed as Aricept, is an inhibitor that binds acetylcholinesterase with high affinity. The X-ray structure of this complex shows that E2020 has a unique orientation along the active site gorge. When we, re when we reach the green link unique orientation, we click on it. This elicits a change in the three-dimensional structure that shows us the unique orientation that the author is referring to, and we can interact with the three-dimensional structure. So E2020 is a unique orientation along the active site gorge extending from the anionic subsite, tryptophan 84, of the active site at the bottom, to the peripheral anionic site near tryptophan 279 at the top via aromatic stacking interactions with the conserved aromatic acid residues. E2020 does not, however, interact directly with either the catalytic triad or the oxyanion hole, but only indirectly via solvent molecules. Now these green links can be clicked and traversed in any order, and at any point the user can interact with the three-dimensional structure on the page. The point I really want to stress is that these green links are very simple to create, and the author does not take care of the animations, but rather only sets a static scene by choosing an orientation, a color scheme, representation scheme, maybe adding labels, and the animations, the transitions between the green links, are done by Proteopedia and the software behind it.